Greenpeel has to offer. So with the webinar that we have designed today, there are a few subjects that we're going to be definitely looking at. So let me take you through it really quickly. We're going to look at overview of not only the treatment, but also the company that's responsible for manufacturing of the treatment. We're going to be talking about the unique benefits that Greenpeel can offer. Some of you might be aware that this is a treatment that fits kind of all, <laughs> meaning that if you invest in it as a professional provider, Either you will be a, uh, able to have a situation where um, where you're, um, you know, you, you will have a little bit of preparation towards it. So let me just interrupt myself. So Carolina says she can't hear me. Is there anybody else that can hear me? Let me just double check, okay? Um, if anybody can hear me out of all the other people, please do let me know so that I, I know it's not me. Can somebody just write down that you can hear me? Let me double check you quickly. Okay, perfect. Now she can. So I guess we're all good. Excellent. So yeah, sometimes there's a little bit of a um, pushback from your computer where your computer just needs a little bit of extra time to connect to audio. Um, but otherwise, yes, do remain on mute. So if I see somebody unmuted, I'll just mute you back up. But if you do have any questions, like I said, do put them into a chat uh, room and I will be able to definitely answer. So Carolina is okay. This is all good. And we can continue. So yes, we're going to be looking at unique benefits of green peel as well. As you know, this is one of those treatments that kind of fits all. So that means that a lot of your consumers that come in with a variety of different skin conditions they're looking for a fix for, um, you will be able to offer this one concise treatment to sort of meet all of the unique needs. So think of anything that is aging, hyperpigmentation, acne, irregular skin uh, conditions or textures. Those are the type of things that the green peel can very, very much help uh, to resolve and give your client a good durable effect. So we're also going to be looking at areas of application for this treatment. Of course, this is not a treatment that is specifically just for the face. And I will show you some before and after pictures. So I will expand on it. Which area, where on the body are you able to actually have this uh, product applied to? There is a, a fantastic benefit of doing it on the body. And you will see it in a moment with almost, you know, a very, very short sequence of treatments. So this is also something that really does um, offer you a unique selling point, okay? So um, definitely make sure that you also know that, yes, the, the treatment can be expanded into two, three different treatment options, and we're going to be definitely looking at it from different angles and different perspectives. Um, you may be aware that there are three different ways of working with Green Peel. So Green Peel will definitely uh, be offered to, to clients as a, a very aggressive treatment, or in some cases as a very um, unaggressive treatment, because this is exactly what fits their skin. So that will all make sense in a moment. I will expand on that as well. We're going to also talk a little bit about a product update. I have a few announcements for those of you, especially that are familiar with Green Peel. You will notice there have been some very, very recent changes to what we actually utilize towards Green Peel in terms of some of the ampules and some of the post care pro, uh, products. So I will definitely talk to it as well and give you some extra resources. And this is actually more to do with the fact that um, there is a way of combining this treatment with other treatments as well. So I'll expand on that in a, in a while too. So let me give you a little bit of history of green peel. So for some of you, this may be a, a reminder or a re review, but for those of you who are kind of, you know, expecting to go into it and quite, quite um, new to it, I will be able to definitely give you a little bit of that historical background of where the treatment came from. So as you know, the treatment has been around for quite a while um, when we usually mention to the consumers that, yes, we're working with a treatment that is 60 years old. Um, people kind of pause and say, did you did you say 60 is six zero or do you mean 16 years? No, 60. So we're talking about decades of experience working with the same compound that was developed back in 1958 that we work with today. Um, that is the herbal preparation. So we're going to talk about that in a moment as well well, but rest assured that nothing has changed in 60 years of using it. It is still effective. It is still in use today. 
So uh, this really where the company comes from um, is one specific person that was really at the helm of the company at the very, very beginning. And that is, of course, Christine, Christine Schrammick who was a, um, a, a German uh, native, um, but born in Poland, a uh, woman before the Second World War. After the Second World War, when she was um, you know, well advanced in age and um, her, her family decided that they will um, relocate to Western Germany, that's when she started to work very, very hard on development of this treatment. She herself had an aspiration of being a doctor, however, never completed her studies because of the war um, and became a beautician, became an aesthetician. And um, she actually surrounded herself with very, very talented people in the past. Um, Dr. Professor Horon Jacques. Um, there was also another person who you may actually know about, um, uh, Dr. Emil Vauder, who is um, kind of thought of as the father of lymphatic drainage techniques. She worked with these individuals to really develop something that was available for the skin from more of a dermatological perspective. And of course, also from the fact that, yes, you can utilize a, a certain um, type of movements or massage techniques that will allow also to eliminate any of the stagnant limp and actually making this into a fully detoxifying treatment. So those two individuals in specification had really, really helped her along the, along the way. So that is a little bit about her. Now she is no longer with us. <laughs> Unfortunately, she had passed away some years ago and the company actually was inherited, or actually even before passing of Christine Schrammack, her daughter kind of came into the into the realm of the company and started to bring in her own unique perspective about treatment and products. And that is actually where the company gets the name from today. So Dr. Met Christine Schrammack. Um, she is the daughter of Christine Schrammack. Yes, I, I realize both of the names are the same. Um, so this is definitely where the company took a bit of an extra kind of churn into how they were producing products because now kind of developed um, a little bit outside of the realm of green peel. And now with the introduction of the dermatological kind of based uh, line of products, you can notice that Dr. Schrammack had brought in pretty much a resolution and treatment lines for every skin condition and every unique need of a client out there that she herself has seen in her practice as a dermatologist. So bringing that unique angle to the production of products and of course the further development of green peel in which we actually seen that the green peel kind of expand from one treatment which was developed by Christine Schrammack to three very much tailored treatments that were developed a little bit later with the help of Dr. Christine Schrammack Druzio. So obviously if you're thinking now, okay, so that probably happened a little bit ago. So this is probably early 1990s or maybe late 1980s when Dr. Christine Schrammack Druzio came on board. Obviously now you can imagine she is at more or less a retirement age, although there is has no has been no announcement from the company as to her you know future reti retirement. But however, the company is mainly run by two of her children. So you can see them uh, with her actually on the bottom right corner. So Alex and Christine as well, they are going to be um, kind of taking over the different aspects of the company. So Alexander is going to be looking after the kind of business development. And of course, uh, Christine will be kind of following in her mother's footsteps. She is a doctor as well. She is a dermatologist. So she's um, also very, very well aware of what the human skin needs. So that's a little bit about the company. I usually actually don't have a lot of time to talk about it in the treatment itself. I can give you an overview. So for those of you who have been through treatment with me, you may have had a little bit of a shorter version of this story, but here I actually was able to elaborate a little bit more. So if you're wondering where the company is located today, um, you can see that it is actually pretty much present on any international market out there. I have to say that um, in the past 10 years, I've been with Dr. Schrammack now for almost 13 years. I can tell you that in the past few years, we, we've seen a growth, I think more exponentially than ever before. And the company is available now in almost 60 countries across the world. So really, really, um, you know, when it comes to availability, you can find their products pretty much anywhere you go. 
So you can see actually here in Canada, um, we do have the representation as Euro Essentials. So the umbrella company here, we are a master distributor for Dr. Schramm at Green Peel, as well as the products across Canada. So we're talking about from coast to coast. We do not have distributorship rights in the States. There are separate distributors uh, that are actually responsible for that there. But we do have inquiries actually coming very, very often from the States as well. So just to kind of give you an idea and orientation, um, here in Canada, of course, being very multicultural, we come from different country, my, countries. Myself, I come from Poland, and I can tell you that I actually had met the Polish distributors as well in Poland. So it's always nice to kind of, when we have those export meetings, when we go to meet with the representation of Dr. Schramek, we always get to meet some of those individuals across the world. So that actually makes it very, very super exciting from our perspective. So going back to Green Peel, just to give you an idea, so what the company actually does right now. So since the Green Peel has been their invention, and this, like we established, happened over 60 years ago now, it's still pretty much one of the main constituents of what the skincare line offers today. And it is a lot of the times, even for us, we notice it's the gateway into Shramek products. So a lot of people who approach us here at Eurocentral, now I actually would say it's about 70% of all of the inquiries that come in, they usually are green peel inquiries and then people kind of get hooked on the products as well. But then now actually more and more often we also get inquiries about Dr. Schramek line as a supportive line to your um, treatments in the spa. And of course, one that offers support to any medical treatment that you may be involved with um, or any kind of actually assistance with even modality driven um, treatments. Dr. Schramek definitely offers you solutions there too. So this idea of medically inspired skincare is definitely somewhere where more and more consumers, I think, reach out to us and more and more professionals reach out to us throughout this gate as well. And then they eventually learn about green peel. So things are shifting a little bit and really both of the of the spectrum of what the company offers are becoming more and more successful. So with that, a little bit more, just come, kind of going back to Green Peel and revisiting that idea, Green Peel has also been a, a very well recognized um, treatment on especially European kind of stage of aesthetics and has been awarded um, the Beauty Forum Reader's Choice Awards um, that's in European Union, Germany in particular, since the company is based out of Germany. Um, it has been actually awarded these awards almost every single year from 2000. 2010. Um, you notice that 2020 is not there, 2021 obviously isn't there either, but that will probably also happen at some point. So that is, um, yeah, pretty much getting the, the kind of platinum award here and really being the long-standing original perfect treatment that clients do reach out for and really do enjoy. So before I delve into some of the aspects of Green Peel as the product range and the treatment options that you have with it, I would like to take a moment and really talk about the company itself a little more from a perspective of a manufacturer. So as you know, a lot of our consumers these days are looking for products that are manufactured with specific requirements. So a lot of consumers will say, well, I'm not going to purchase this product unless I know exactly how this product is being made and how is the company that makes the product taking care of the environment that, that it actually produces the products in or the kind of ecological sources of the, of the ingredients that go into the line itself. So rest assured that when it comes to green peel, Dr. Schramek definitely is looking at every specific angle of that. So they are always looking at very, very sustainable and responsible resourcing of, um, you know, any of the packaging materials to ingredients that go into the product. They adhere to the very, very strict rules and regulations that are governed um, manufacturing of skincare in European Union, which probably is one of the strictest in the world, if not the strictest. Um, they adhere to pretty much everything that is set forth for them. And of course, another thing too that you have to, as a kind of a consumer friendly idea, you need to also uh, maybe communicate to clients in the future 
is the fact that this is definitely a line that is looking at the ingredients, not only the ones that are kind of like fashionable, because that can be a little dangerous. <laughs> They're also looking to really uh, confirm the efficacy and the safety of their ingredients from the spectrum of clinical studies. So they do actually run studies with every single product that they produce in order to establish the dermatologically guaranteed effect in the skin. Okay, so very, very important. And then again, going back to more of the kind of fads and, and, and uh, kind of, you know, market waves of, of what is fashionable and what isn't. A lot of the times you might be asked by consumers who are vegans, are the products vegan? And I have to say that approximately 90% of the Dr. Shamek products, and that actually includes everything that is being used for the Green Peel Classic and, oh, sorry, the Green Peel Treatment, I should say. They are approximately nine of 90% of all of Dr. Shramek products are vegan friendly. So if you're specifically are in the market of offering treatments to this section of the population, you can definitely rest assured that you're going to have a kind of full support with Dr. Shramek as a line. Okay. So very environmentally friendly company, even from the packaging, if you notice everything is recyclable, everything is made to really kind of limit the amount of packaging that is required. Um, very recently, the company actually made a move to repackage all of their ampules. So the retail ampules used to be in a beautiful cardboard component, but right now the company kind of decided, yes, let's go with a little bit less paper. <laughs> so they definitely repackaged it. And I actually have pictures of it. I will show you that a little bit later. So let's take a look at green peel as a treatment. So a lot of the times you will hear the tag, the power of natural beauty. And this is a little bit different from the power of medical beauty, which is a testament to the derma cosmetic lines developed by Dr. Christine schramek the The idea behind green peel is that, yes, you are kind of working within the concept of natural product. So I know that the, the idea of a natural product a lot of the times gets a little bit lost in translation. In North America, this means nothing really. Um, there isn't a body out there that regulates a natural market for cosmetics. However, in Europe, there is. And when you make those claims, you better be sure that your products follow. <laughs> so here, definitely, when we're talking about the products that are used for green peel, most of them, if not all of them, do have the um, the idea of being, you know, completely naturally based. Okay. So just to remind you, ladies, if you need to pre place any type of question or anything like that, I keep everybody on mute, <laughs> so I don't want to be rude, but I muted you there for a second. If you need to place uh, any of the questions, please do put them in the chat button. Okay. So moving on, um, let me show you um, what is really at the heart of the treatment. So when we're talking about the, the actual products that are responsible for giving you the peeling effect, right? So this is what most of our consumers will be inquiring about, um, are actually three products. And it is the combination of specific herbs and plant compounds. There is the green peel concentrate. And of course, there is a facial combing foam, which is sort of addition to the treatment. It is something that will make the treatment more pleasant for your client to experience. But it is also something that adds additional benefits like moisture binding, like, you know, a little bit more elasticizing effect. And of course, combing and soothing. So couple of reminders here. Um, this is actually a really very much a... Um, kind of a, a social media friendly picture with all of the unique perspectives of the of this specific treatment. So being the original herbal peeling method in the world, it definitely is a leader in its own field. You know, having something so successful as green peel, a lot of um, companies out there try to, of course, develop their own version of this treatment or, you know, come up with their own specific formula, whether it's herbal or algae based. So right now we actually do face quite a bit of competition, but one of the probably strongest elements of marketing for green peel will be to remind the consumers that this is still the original peeling method with herbs that has been longstanding and has you know proven efficacy and safety profile. So this is something to really, really remind everybody. Then, of course, this is the only herbal peeling on the market today that has three 
dermatologically developed and guaranteed methods to experience the treatment from a variety of different levels. And we'll get to that in a moment and I'll explain to that in a bit more of a detail. And the only herbal peeling that has that traceable track record of 60 years. So those are things to really remember and remind your consumers. So let's take a look at the three different methods that we have at hand. We typically talk about green peel, um, you know, when we talk about green peel, green peel, green peel. The one that comes to mind is, of course, the original method, which was the green peel classic. Green peel classic is a little bit more involved to sell to your consumer and for you to perform. It does require on your part a little bit of organization. Your clients actually come in for two part treatment. So they one, they come in for a treatment with the herbs. They are then sent home for five days to seven day period in which they are given a home care kit to support the effects of green peel. During that time, at some point, the peel is going to start to, sorry, the peel, <laughs> the skin is going to start to peel. And of course, you're going to have the benefits of the resurfacing in the skin that you're looking for, followed by some of the regeneration that will come a little bit later. It is a true problem solver. So for those clients who are particularly interested in making a huge difference in their skin, whether this is a wrinkle release or firming effect or acne control, classic treatment will probably be one of the best options for those clients to get to where they want to be at the fastest rate. But there is also the Green Peel Energy, which is a also fantastic corrective peel. It is something that will give your skin more of a vitality and kind of metabolic spark. So you're going to notice effects of it within probably the first treatment. And it will still have some, you know, corrective potential for some of the probably even more annoying skin conditions or more visible and aesthetically unpleasing aspects like hyperpigmentation, I like some control over minor acne to kind of medium acne and so on and so forth. So definitely still a great method. The winning point for Green Peel Energy is the fact that it's a standalone treatment. So that means that your client will not have any specific follow-up at home or rules to adhere to. They will specifically just come in on day one, get their treatment from A to Z, and then we'll probably don't see them for another treatment for another couple of weeks, okay? So very, very consumer friendly. We find now, um, just kind of talking to different markets um, in different areas of the world, I can tell you that depending, of course, on the climate that the products are being sold and the treatment is being performed, or by the demographic of the clients that are in that particular country, energy is one of the most popular methods right now for green peel out there. So whether it's a European market or it's a North American market in particular, it's a very, very popular method. And then, of course, you have the least aggressive out of all of the three approaches, and that is the Green Peel Fresh Up. With this one, of course, what we have, we do have that kick of freshness, that kind of radiance, um, microcirculatory kind of effect in the skin. But it will come at an expense of almost no to very little peeling. So if client, your client is looking for truly resurfacing treatment, they will have to look at two of the other options. But for anybody who is maybe a younger consumer or who is a, you know, inquiring about bettering the appearance of their skin, maybe they have this feeling like their skin is a little tired or maybe loss of glow or, you know, that radiance is definitely not there. This is this is what you can offer to your customers, even as a preparation for a special treatment or for, sorry, for a special event or something like that. Now, another thing, too, that you can use Green Peel Fresh Up for and that's very often done is as a gateway treatment. So what this means is that you might have that one particular client who is a little bit kind of on the fence. They don't know if they want to invest in one of the more aggressive treatments, if they want to spend the money on that. This is a way to actually introduce it to a client. Okay, so come on in, receive the Green Peel Fresh Up. At least you will know how it feels. You will know what the effects might be. And, um, you know, we can then progress from, from that point. So definitely you can, you know, it's kind of like from A to Z or Z to A. You can start with Fresh Up and progress your client or start with Classic and then, you know, use the other two forms of Green Peel as an upkeep. So really the potential is endless. 
and you will never get into a situation where all of a sudden your client goes, oh, but I've already had the green pea. I don't really need another one or I, I don't really, you know, you always have a little bit of a potential to sell your client on another treatment. So from a purely business perspective, this is quite amazing. And of course, when your client is looking to solidify the effects and to kind of, you know, preserve the longevity of how they last, they do have the other two options that are a little bit less interrupting to their lifestyle, but they still give them a fantastic effect. So from a treatment perspective, so this is for you as a professional now, um, you know, how are these treatments different? So if you notice, when it comes to your involvement of time, they really are not that much different from each other. They will always take about a one hour to perform. But however, from a, a kind of perspective of parameters of how you perform the treatment and what gives the treatment strength, makes it more aggressive versus more conservative, is of course the amount of herbs that are being used. So if you notice the classic, obviously utilizes the, the most amount and um, the fresh up, of course, the least. Of course, when we're talking about application of the green pea, we're always talking about a massage, right? So the product is massaged into the skin in a specific way. And this is explained to you in, in the training sessions that we do for Green Peel. Um, we actually do have a, a lot of now throughout COVID, we do have a lot of great support in terms of videos and things like that, that we, we can reach out to you with and really make sure that you're, you know, making a, a correct treatment for you and for your client. So nothing to worry about. But also, so coming back to the pressure, so the pressure of the massage really is then kind of calibrated depending on the method that you're using, but also in respect to the skin of your client. So that means that if a client comes in and has a very thin skin, obviously you're not going to attack that skin with a very heavy massage. You're going to kind of err on a side of lightness, right? So that is also another parameter that we're kind of looking at. And then, of course, the application frequency will also be different. So for Green Peel Classic, typically we see our client every month. Of course, there is that second component that we see them about a week in, but the, the treatment itself is then restarted every month. And this is usually for an optimal cure of four treatments. This is what we kind of, um, you know, assess out there. But of course, some clients will need less. Some clients may need an additional treatment past the four. So that really all depends on you, your client and their skin condition. And again, we look at that in the training with a little bit more of a kind of magnifying lamp there. All right, and um, another thing too, um, for the Green Peel Energy, obviously this is a kind of double a month type of applications two times a month so every two weeks and then for the green peel fresh up it's once per per week so that's about four per month so that's how we're looking at the duration of it now if you notice there is a lot of support like i don't know if you had gone into um, our website for example but we do offer a lot of support in terms of you know, how to reach out to the consumers. Dr. Schwammick does a great job at providing us with a lot of material that you can use, not only for your social media, but also for website. And um, another website too that I wanna mention here before I move on to the kind of unique ingredients and what makes Green Peel really, really different. Let me tell you about this website that you and your consumers can go on to get some really good quality information. The website is greenpeel.com. Very, very easy to remember. You cannot get lost. It is ran by Dr. Schrammick themselves, and it is available in English and German. And of course, your client can go on there and look at some of the information that I'll be sharing with you today, especially the before and after pictures and uh, the frequencies of treatments, everything like that is explained in there for them. So if you hadn't had a chance to look at it, please do so because it is a really, really fantastic resource. So now, going back to Green Peel and going back to what makes Green Peel so powerful, what in, what's inside of, the, of that little jar of herbs obviously matters. So Green Peel herbs are the basis of that natural peeling mixture that we're going to be achieving for our clients, and they're the basis to acceleration of regeneration.
So when we talk about ingredients in green peel, of course, in the training, I go a little bit more in detail here, but just to kind of give, a, give you most of them at a glance, you will notice that there aren't ingredients that you may not be super familiar with. So you probably recognize things like pansy, like marigold, which is also called calendula, obviously aloe vera, chamomile, which is here spelled in German somehow, <laughs> and of course, different forms of algae. Um, those are one of the unique kind of blend of ingredients. The overall method of how this product is being made is, is pretty much kept under lock and key. Not everybody, even in the company, has access to it. And it is really done for the fact that it is a, a sort of a secret uh, formula, a secret mixture. Um, and how those, you know, those herbs and the, the plant-based compounds really interact with each other is quite phenomenal. They have a super synergetic effect in the skin because everyone brings something new to the skin and something very, very different. So if you notice, I'm going to just show you a little bit more detail about about four different um, compounds of the green peel, just to give you an idea of what they do. So starting with horsetail, um, that is an ingredient that is quite interesting. It is a, a very, very rich um, plant in silica. Silica is one of those ingredients that has a, a super re-energizing effect for fibroblast activity. So it actually creates a perfect environment for your fibroblast to produce more of collagen and elastin, but also a better quality of that protein. Okay, so super, super anti-aging. We also do have ingredients such as marigold, like we said before, calendula. Um, this one is added a little bit more from that wound healing, kind of calming, soothing effect. But it is also an herb that has been very well studied, actually, even in medicine, that shows that it activates cell division. So for your epidermal tissue in particular, this is a very, very effective um, plant. And in addition to this, we do have some uh, plants that really bring in some of the keratolytic effects. So give you that true epithelializing or exfoliative measure. So that's ribwort and pansy. And if you look at them respectively, ribwort does have silicic acid, which is also a compound that is derivative of silica. So it cell regenerates, it moves the cells faster, especially in the epidermis that is very visible because then you end up with a physical peeling of the skin. Penzi does the same thing, but by the means of infusing your skin with salicylic acid. And of course, this you might be familiar with. It's a beta hydroxy acid, usually very much affiliated with uh, oil kind of philic effect or lipophilic effect in the skin. So it actually is a, a oil um, dissolvable type of compound that really, really very effectively helps to lift off old skin cells and then churn over the, the cornify stratum of the epidermis. So very, very effective. And one of the things that I always kind of think when I'm talking about green peel and when I'm teaching green peel, you know, people say, well, how is this different from something like acid peels? Well, it is different because it works by a different dynamic. It actually works in the skin first. So that means that a lot of the compounds that are in green peel get absorbed into the skin and they all go to work immediately. And they pretty much synergetically, like I said before, do one thing, they speed up metabolism. As they speed up metabolism in the skin, the changes that are regeneration, that are renewal are going to happen very, very quickly. So technically for somebody, uh, maybe uh, perhaps that is in their 40s or 50s, their epidermal tissue in particular, just to kind of stick to the epidermis for now, their epidermal tissue renews maybe every 40 to 50 days. Um, you will notice that with application of green peel, this process of full turnover of epiderm epidermal tissue actually happens over five days. So that is incredible. That is amazing. And it, of course, cap happens to be, uh, you know, something that happens at the expense of the skin kind of rejecting some of the layers and you then peeling physically that is very visible to the clients and very gratifying. Okay. So with that, just kind of reiterating this point of regeneration here, 
just if you're looking at different layers of the skin. One of the things that you will notice with green peel is that right away you get a bit of a removal of the epidermal layer, even within the massage of the herbs. You will notice that everybody always says, oh my God, my skin looks amazing after green peel, okay? It's not just because of the fact that we've removed some of the epidermis, so it has a slightly polishing effect, but we also notice that a lot of the times the, the kind of glow comes from the microcirculatory increase. And obviously with microcirculatory uh, increase, you do have better absorption of oxygen. And of course, that will be your also one of your main metabolites, right? That will then add to the regenerative effect of the peel. So that works from the inside out. And then of course the skin renews um, from the inside out rather than like acidic peel from outside in. <laughs> so you achieve exfoliation. Hopefully there will be something at the edges of the skin that will you know, respond to it, right? So obviously with all of this beautiful improvement of metabolism, the extra oxygenation that happens, the removal of the upper stratum of the uh, layers of the skin, you get the activation of formation of connective tissue. So that is, of course, your fibroblasts going to work and producing more viable content of um, collagen and elastin. So if you want to look at this a little bit more in detail, you will see here that once we apply the, the herbs onto the skin, they kind of penetrate in between some of the dead skin cells. They lift off some of the very kind of outside layers of the skin. And then, of course, they allow you to then get a better, better understanding of what's going on in the skin afterwards. With that, of course, happens to be a bit more of that microcirculatory effect. The skin will pick up microcirculation better oxygenation to the tissue. So imagine a client who has a very tired, asphyxiated, older skin type where, you know, you're looking at somebody perhaps that has that leather-like skin. They have been damaged by sun many, many years. And, you know, they, they need that kind of super extra effect in the skin. That will be one of the most gratifying effects. I cannot tell you how, like, I sometimes get very, very mature clients and they have the green peel. And you look at them in a, in a while and they go, oh my God, it's like I have a new skin. So there's a definitely a fantastic effect on that. And of course, within the internal parts of the, of the skin, so especially in the epidermal kind of layers, you will notice that the activation to metabolism of your cells will be amazing. And they are going to be start to move or they're going to start to move and they're going to give you that kind of sloughing and lifting effect. So take a look at that probably sometime on a day three to day four, the skin sort of starts to lift slightly and you get that exfoliation that you're looking for. Of course, when it comes to exfoliative measure of the, of the skin, you know, because this is a very intelligent peel, it is not something that forces the skin into exfoliation, but rather enhances the natural regenerative process, everybody will peel differently. OK, so I understand and I've had clients in the past who said, but I had a TCA peel and I, I peeled like a snake. Well, you're not going to peel like a snake here. You're not a snake. You shouldn't peel like a snake. <laughs> There's that idea. And of course, you can also mention to your clients that that has a protective mechanic because this peel will never over exfoliate your skin. It will just trick the skin into thinking that it has to give out some of its layers. But this is, of course, by the natural process of renewal. So as the skin renews, it replenishes the old laws, you know, tired layers with the new active layers in the skin. So very, very effective from that perspective and very, very different from acidic peels of other kinds. So let's look at some of the effects of green peel. So this is probably where everybody's kind of like, ooh, ooh okay, let, let me see, let me see. Anybody that's been through my training, um, you know that I show a series of photographs. And typically when it comes to the series of photographs that I show, they are actually from a quite now older study that was the, performed at the kind of end of the 2010, um, so about 10 years ago. And um, this is actually what they what they kind of suggest that we use for training. But I'm going to show you some of the before and after pictures that I kind of gather all around the world. So I'm going to show you from different distributors to different um, clinics 
show you the effects are, you know, no matter where you are, who you are, where you come from, the effects are going to be amazing. Okay. So first and foremost, we're just going to recaption what we're looking to better in the skin. So if you have a very impure, very cornified dead skin, maybe perhaps there is some degree of acne um, or even, you know, in some cases, the acne can be quite severe. This is still a treatment for you. And be assured that even if your client comes in with acne vulgaris stage three, they're kind of looking at you like you have two heads, but they told me I can't really do anything on my skin. Well, this is a unique treatment that you can still offer. Even if your client presents with, um, you know, the, the kind of very easily recognizable pustules and papules in the skin. For scars, so uniquely hypo and hypertrophic scars, due to accident, post-acne, post-operative, but not keloids, okay? So let be, let's be very, very honest here. For that type of scarring, we're not going to be able to really work on with any ablative treatment. But another thing that is very unique here, if you do have a client with stretch marks, this is a treatment that will be incredibly effective on that. And if you don't believe me, I'll show you some pictures in a moment too. <laughs> so sagging skin and wrinkles, sun damaged skin of course so this is from either the obvious sun exposure or this is from hormonal you know imbalances in the skin we mentioned premature skin with asphyxiated conditions and we also looked at skins that have maybe skin disc discoloration but from a different perspective and i'll elaborate on that of course in training but you can definitely look at that too so the effects of green peel here, um, you can notice uh, we're going to go through some of the very unique kind of effects with acne. This is one of my favorite treatment to give to a client who has acne because the skin will literally completely look differently once you're done. So if you notice somebody with a stage three acne, so obvious location of papules, pustules, perhaps even some cysts, and you can see that, that her skin is completely renewed here. And we can kind of see a progression of treatments here. Just to give you an idea, an average of three to four treatments were performed here. There isn't a specification on it, but I do remember that when I was gathering all this, this uh, um, pictures, it's definitely going to be more or less that type of spacing. And then we have another treatment here for obviously younger individual. This is a complicated situation. If you notice, there's a lot of scarring also that's left from acne and a complete regeneration in the skin here. So fantastic effect. Again, this is like a typical teenage type of distribution as well. Very often kind of concentrated on the forehead or in the kind of hormonal zones of the face. Um, again, a, a wonderful effect here. Really, really aggressive hyperkeratinization. You can see it here in her skin. So lots and lots of kind of clogging of the pores that, that occurs here. And this is something that we actually use for training as well. So we show this in a training, but this is an amazing, amazing effect for somebody who has more of a textured skin with a little bit of breakout, but also very enlarged pores and obviously loads of comedones that are in kind of, you know, distribution um, based on the T-zone. And just to give you an idea, this was only one treatment for this specific person that was performed here. So just to give you an idea, some lucky individuals really get away with just a single treatment. It's, it's quite fantastic. And then you, of course, see some effects on, um, you know, kind of spotting uh, hyperpigmentation. This is definitely due to sun exposure. And it is a little bit more of that kind of solar lentigene. Sometimes we call it liver spots, which is an old term for it. Um, but again, you will not get 100% removal. But you can, of course, aid with products that belong to the Dr. Shramek Mela white line to even further the effects of green peel. But really, really fantastic effect there for something that very little would work for. And you can see here, this is actually one of the original studies that was done with Dr. Schramek Greenpeel sometime in the 60s or 70s. Um, these type of photographs were being kind of compiled. And you can see here, well, obviously an advanced aging with lots of solar lenty genes and then the effect of the green peel, which is fantastic. This, I'm not sure how many treatments this was. This was very, very long time ago. And it's kind of like an archive uh, picture, but I thought I'll include it here just to kind of show you that, yeah, things haven't really changed in 60 years. The effects are still pretty much the same.
again, another kind of um, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentary mark here. Um, I have seen actually another picture that somebody had a, um, a, a renewal after a, a, a spider bite. So this was an insect bite. And it was fantastic that the effects of that were really, really nice. This kind of reminds me of that too. So really nice regeneration. Again, more from a perspective of anti-aging and in the nasolabial area. So lots of wrinkling typically happens around there because it's that moving mimetic part of your face. Here you can see that it's, it's vastly improved and also in the contour of the eyes. So this is where I get a lot of extra questions from consumers or from professionals. They're always kind of like, oh my goodness, like you can work with this around the eyes? Indeed you can. I mean, you're not going to go ahead and, and perform the same approach on the eyelid as you would do on the face. So that's a little bit different, but a light, light massage, maybe perhaps 30 seconds around the eye, would definitely renew some of the elasticity within the eyelids, but very, very delicate approach. But of course, for the contour of the eyes, when you see a little bit more of that advanced wrinkling, <coughs> excuse me, you will notice that that is something that will be like, wow, fantastic. So very, very good effects, you know, no Botox, no, nothing like that, just power of the herbs. Very, very nice. And this picture right here shows a lady who it was actually used for some of the studies I mentioned. So the studies that were done with green peel anywhere between 2008 and 2011, this is the type of photography that we were able to obtain with this particular client um, or pool of clients. The company went a little bit further. They really wanted to measure what happens within the skin. And even though it was done a while back, we still use this type of imaging. So let me just tell you a little bit more about this person here. So this is a, a truly prematurely aged individual. So obviously there is that marked exposure to sunlight that's very visible in its effects. Again, the skin is more like that, you know, leather handbag <laughs> type of look. I, I hate that analogy, but it's it's a good one. So you will definitely look at that texture change. Obviously, there is a laxity in terms of elasticity. And then there is that marked effect of, um, you know, aging, kind of photo aging, right? So you have not only wrinkles, but you also have pigmentary changes. So let's take a look at her skin, but from an inside perspective. So what you're looking at here on the left-hand side is the untreated skin. And of course, you're looking at the three layers in the skin I will outline for you in a moment. And then on the right-hand side, you can see that this is somebody's skin, um, sorry, somebody's the same person's skin after treatment. So this is after the third green peel and it is um, showing already much, much, much improvement. So let me take a look with you as to what we're looking at. So this little area here is your epidermis. This area right here is your dermis. Okay. And obviously the kind of dark area right here where really not much is present. It's usually fat or liquid that does not produce a lot of um, image back in an ultrasound photography. So this is pretty much your fat layer. Okay. So sorry about my writing. <laughs> when I write with my mouse, it's, it's usually not that great. So you're going to notice in the epidermal tissue, what's really, really interesting to take a note of is a wrinkling within the epidermis. So this is one area of very pronounced wrinkling, but also look at the quality of the epidermis overall. So when you're actually looking at this area right here, you can notice that this area is kind of interrupted. There isn't a lot of cohesiveness within this layer. So that also shows the effects of damage that the skin has sustained and the kind of inefficacy of the turnover within the epidermal tissue, right? So that there isn't a lot of natural regeneration that happens. And probably down the road, this individual would also develop a lot of problems in terms of barrier dysfunctions in the skin. So take a note of that. And then the other thing that we're also very often outlining in this photograph right here is this kind of empty space. So if you notice, there's only black. So again, go back to what I said before. 
you know, this is when you have black within ultrasound photography, there's just nothing. It's, it's, it's empty space or it's just fluid in this case here. So this also is relevant of the fact that the epidermis and the dermis have kind of deviated from each other. They're not very neatly anchored together. And that actually is the essential support in the skin that is necessary to give you that kind of quality of bounciness and, and of course, you know, the look of firmness. So that is, is definitely not there. Now, another area worth of noticing is this area right here. So this is where you see the little fibroblast cells. They are the little blue cells that you see on this side. Um, they kind of, you know, they produce a little bit of collagen. It's not really that well organized. And they themselves are really a little bit lazy because of exposure and then time passage. But let me show you what happens actually now in the skin afterwards, which is really, really interesting. Let me just change the color of my pen. So if you notice that little wrinkle that was here, gone. Then the other thing to notice in overall, the, the kind of quality of the epidermis, you have um, much more well-organized tissue. There is cohesiveness. There is gluing together of the cells. They keep together really, really well. So even the barrier functionality has been improved. And then finally, if you remember, we had that black strip between the epidermis and the dermis. Now that has been re-anchored completely for this client too. And within the dermal tissue, so if you notice here, obviously we have more activity within the fibroblasts and more production of collagen and elastin that kind of travels throughout the dermal tissue altogether. So really, really effective um, kind of result here for the client that is visible on the surface and visible within the skin too. If you're not used to seeing these type of photographs from other companies, it's because they don't produce them. There's not much to measure in terms of change to really show it in this perspective. But let me show you here. So a couple more um, items that I have here to go over. So this is, for example, a perfect scenario of somebody with a bit of a, a darker skin, perhaps a, a Fitzpatrick of four. Um, this client obviously suffered some changes in pigmentation, and you can see that that has been completely resolved after a few treatments. A client with, again, more of that kind of sagging, um, you know, loss of firmness, but also a bit of a cloasmic kind of distribution of pigment here and there. You notice that that has also been um, renewed here for her really, really well. And then we have one photograph of a client. This is a rarity to see these days, but one photograph of a client who was treated with an energy peel. She actually got a full four energy peels done one after another. And it just shows you the extent of, you know, you don't always have to reach out for the classic treatment. If your client's a little bit more objective to it, you can always go ahead and offer them, you know, something a little bit less aggressive and have a great result still. So you can see that an overall just uniformity within color in the skin, even some of the wrinkle release, you can see it around the eye area here, and you can see it even around this area right here as well on the cheek. So really, really effective. Effective, even if you don't want to go always with the with the you know classic treatment. So here we're also going to talk a little bit more about application on the body. So yes, face is one potential area you can sell this treatment to for your clients. But of course, there could be a multiple reasons why your clients would want to choose this for application on their body. So before and after liposuction, if your client has undergone this type of procedure, you will notice that a lot of the times they are left with a bit of a crepey kind of skin appearance um, as you limit some of the adipose tissue. Unfortunately, this is also scaffolding for the skin. So the skin gets a little bit saggy. You can correct that. Great as an addition to an anti-cellulite program on its own will not do anything to your cellulite, but you will refurbish the skin tissue. Sagging after pregnancy and stretch marks, of course, we talked about scars, remodeling of the upper arms and variety of different impurities and hyperkeratosis um, effects on the body. So let's take a look. This is a, a picture I used to show actually in training some years ago. 
but now it's kind of uh, been archived since we have newer ones. But if you notice, this was actually something that like even for me, I remember thinking back in the day, wow, that is a fantastic effect. So this is somebody that obviously was pregnant, has that kind of distribution of the the stretch marks right on the side of the belly. And you can see that there was also very extensive uh, C-section that was performed here. So you can actually perform a treatment treating both areas, okay? And that becomes really, really interesting to the clients at that point because they want more for the back, they want their bang, <laughs> they're gonna get it. So that is a phenomenal, fantastic result. We also very often think, okay, what if the stretch marks are a little bit older, right? Can we still treat it? Can it have an effect? This is an area of an inner thigh. And if you notice, again, you're not gonna be probably able to get rid of the stretch marks themselves. They've been there for a while. You know, the, the striers unfortunately <laughs> make the skin kind of come apart. You're not gonna be able to remove it, but you can better the situation by making some of the healthy tissue more elastic. So the look of it becomes much, much more appealing. And then finally, again, old stretch marks on the stomach here that you can see. I've got one more for you. And this one's always like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. This actually shows exactly how the skin peels um, on areas of posterior body. So if you notice here on the stomach, this will be very similar to the outer thighs, uh, buttocks area, or even the back. Um, the the tissue really peels very, very aggressively. I've seen it actually not too long ago, I did a treatment on somebody's back and she had the same amount of peeling. So really, really effective there. Okay, and just going back to one more little overview here. This is more for, again, a little bit of wrinkles here. You got that kind of effect very easily here for some of the poke marks, box scars, ice pick scars, post acne and you will see like complete rejuvenation. I know probably some of you are thinking, mm, but I do microneedling, so how is this gonna work together? You can combine green peel with microneedling, I don't see why not. Um, your choice here really typically will be to offer an alternate treatment, so one month treating with green peel, one month with microneedling, or perhaps doing series of, of treatment with microneedling first, and then finishing the treatment with, you know, two to three sessions with green peel might also work. So depending on your on your client, that could be a good approach. You can see here effect on some of the scarring and you can also see effects on something like melasma, which is probably one of the hardest things to treat for your clients. So the, just to kind of give you an idea, it, it can have results. It can definitely help you. All right. So you may be wondering, okay, so what about um, kind of the, the peeling effect? Oh, somebody asked me, Alyssa asked me, can you combine with derma planning? Uh, that answer would be no, um, because they're both technically ablative treatments. Um, you have to be a little bit careful about spacing them apart. So they will probably not be combined within the same series, but obviously you can offer your client derma planning either prior to green peel to kind of reduce some of the keratinization. That will be a very effective way to lead into green peel, or you can offer your client derma planning after a complete series of green peels, okay? So I hope that answers your question. Um, in, a, in a green peel training, we'll cover that a little bit more in detail as well. So no worries, you can get some more information there. All right, so let's take a look at the peeling effect of green peel. So many times clients are gonna ask you, okay, um, so how is my skin gonna look like when I peel on the face? So you saw on the body, that's one area, but on the face, it's a little different. It really all depends to the, on the individual at hand. So sometimes the client that is going to, you know, have a finer skin texture, perhaps a, a thinner skin. So if you actually look at that type of individuals, they almost always are going to produce a very light peeling, which you can see on the left-hand side. Most individuals are going to be in the area of kind of medium peeling. So you will see this, okay? The skin will be visibly kind of peeling off. Um, and clients, you know, a lot of the times I have to also mention, the clients are given a, a post care, okay? So typically a client will never look like this walking around the street, right? What they will do, especially now with masks on, that's not gonna happen, but 
one of the things that I often say to the clients is, okay, carry your products with you so that when you feel that your skin is starting to chop and kind of fall off, <laughs> out of lack of better word, um, you will need to sort of replenish the aftercare for you. Okay. So definitely in a green peel classic approach, we, we always advise that and your client really never looks like that. So also, you know, when it comes to the aesthetics of, of how you look after the treatment, it's never an issue for an average client. To be honest, most, most of the time when I have a green peel, people don't even notice that I've had one unless they really look closely or I bring it up, right? So most clients, however, are gonna have this kind of medium style peeling. And then finally, clients who have more of a textured, kind of oilier skin, they may have a potential of peeling quite quite a lot, okay? So it really, really all depends on the client. It depends on, on you know, their skin condition, or even sometimes it's the time of the year. You know, I've sometimes peeled more from Green Peel Energy because I did it right after summer than I did from Green Peel Classic in the winter. So it really all changes quite a, quite a bit. But you're never going to peel like that. <laughs> so again, for those clients who have had some experience with TCA peeling and such, you will never, ever look like that. This is not the same type of peel. Remember here, we enhance the regenerating process. Here, we, we force the skin to peel, okay? So approach is completely different. And yes, you're not gonna peel like a snake because you're not a snake, okay? So that is also something to remember. Okay, so what is some of the kind of expected reaction in green peel, right? So what are we gonna see? as we exit the treatment room. So a lot of the clients have questions about that. Um, you know, a lot of them have reservations because they went online, they did a little research, and you know, sometimes people will just, you know, it's just like kind of going through childbirth, you think that, oh my God, you know, I did it, I'm a hero. Listen, it's, it's, it's okay, things are gonna happen. It may not be very comfortable for you to undergo the treatment, and there will be some side effects which are normal, right? So I don't like to say side effects, more like expected reactions would be my choice of words here. One of them will be dissipating redness. And that is something that most of the time doesn't bother the individual too much, but there are certain portion of the population you will see that peel more than others, okay? Or get red, sorry, more than others is what I meant to say. Um, and of course, it all depends on the quality of your microcirculatory network. So some clients just more prone to redness, and they will definitely, you know, be sometimes be red, right? But always say to the client, well, this is dissipating situation. So you may be very red today, but two days down the road, you will notice that the redness will be decreased if not disappeared completely. Now, transient swelling, yes, it happens, and yet it happens usually in the kind of central area of the face, typically under the eyes where there may be some stagnant lymph fluid. Um, if you feel that the swelling is a little bit more increased, most of the times the movements of the hands that was not performed correctly, and we go over that in training so that you're always, you know, you always remember how to perform the treatment really, really well. So skin may feel hot to touch. This, of course, is the expense of, you know, initiation of microcirculation. It will come with some changes to heat. Heat has a therapeutic benefit. It is kind of the gateway of regeneration in the skin. So the pro-inflammatory effect within the skin is necessary to evoke changes, right? We cannot just, you know, we all know what happens when you just apply creams and lotions and potions, right? You always have to stimulate the skin in some way or form to really change it. And one of the unique aspects of green peel, okay, is the fact that you feel these kind of prickly sensation, especially when you touch yourself. Very unique. Like I said, I have not experienced that with any other treatment um, other than green peel. So I always say to the client, you know, especially within the hours following your treatment, you, every time you touch yourself, you'll be reminded that you just did a green peel. It is not an unpleasant sensation, but it is kind of off-putting for some people. So unless you are told that this is gonna happen, they may be very surprised. So always, always make sure that you mention your to your clients that that might be the case. Now, if you have come in with existing pigmentation, and we just treated it. Sometimes because of the renewal rate in the skin, the, the cells kind of compact onto each other so that the pigmentation actually looks more um, pronounced than it would under normal circumstances. And of course, you know, that is a, a kind of a, again, 
kind of of putting or of balancing for the client, pre-warn them that will happen. It's quite normal. It will go away once the skin starts to peel. So that that can happen. So itching in the skin is quite um, quite often happening. I have to say that pretty much 90% of, of the clients will have some kind of an itching. And, and that is, of course, normal. It is not annoying, but like from time to time, it's like, oh, it's really itching. But itching means regeneration and change too, right? So we definitely have that there. Few rules to adhere to as a consumer of a Green Peel Classic in particular. These things don't apply specifically to energy and, and fresh up, but for Green Peel Classic, these things are quite important. So we kind of advise our clients not to sweat a lot. So if they are, you know, run, runners or they're bikers or, you know, they jump on the pelotons and whatever else, um, you just have to say that, you know, for the first couple of days, especially for the first three days until your skin starts to peel, try to avoid profuse sweating. So maybe your cardio will be at a lesser rate. That will then produce a situation where, you know, you're not going to sweat the ingredients out. Very, very important to know that. No manipulation of peeling in the skin. So once your skin starts to peel, you will notice that, yes, you don't want to pull at it. You don't want to yank. Even if the skin is coming off in pieces, you know, there's other ways of dealing with it. But do not pull, do not, you know, peel the skin. No contact with water. That one is hard to swallow because most clients will say, oh, my God, so water, I can't take a shower. Of course you can take a shower, but one of the things you will have to remember is not to submerge your face or treated area in water. That becomes a little bit more difficult on the body and usually requires some type of dressing or wrapping around the area, but trust me, it will pay off. So again, this is for the reason that we don't want to, you know, uh, wash the ingredients out and of course, you know, kind of discontinue the peel. And we always, always remind our clients this is under any circumstances and no sunbathing. And of course, another thing too that we want to make sure is that you use the home care products provided. So that is, you know, a few things clients kind of are not very good always at listening to these things. <laughs> That's why we have a handout for them to take home. But we can guarantee that if you adhere to this, you will see significant success uh, to your to your treatment versus, you know, somewhat su success if you're not adhering to these rules. OK, so very, very important to know that. In terms of home care for green peel, I'll typically will go very much in detail about this um, in the uh, training session. But here, just to kind of mention, we do have two different versions, one that supports for treatments. You can see it on the right hand side. Those are larger sizes of the products needed. And then if you're doing a solitary green peel, this client will just, you know, pretty much receive one Green Peel Classic. That's when we offer them the smaller home kit, which is a, a trial sizes, basically based home care. Okay. And of course, so what can we do also in terms of kind of bridging the, the treatment with other Dr. Schrammack treatments that are available out there? So for any esthetician, if you are really smart businesswoman, if you're really involved in the care for your client, which most of us don't get in this business because we're not, <laughs> we're very much involved in it. What can you do to further the effects of the treatment? So obviously you work with your clients together. Your goal almost always is to give your client long-term result-driven care. So how is this treatment concept or treatment plan going to look like? when you're looking at other aspects of Dr. Schrammack line. So with choices of pretty much, you know, a plethora of different type of treatments and products, you will notice that clients very often um, will ask, actually, so what do I do now? What do I do for home care? Sometimes you don't even have to sell them. They will sell it to themselves. <laughs> you just have to guide them in the right direction, right? The treatment of green peel, you know, also utilizes some of the regular treatment options in Shramic, like cleansers, toners, and, and moisturizers. Once the clients actually get hooked, on the, the efficacy of the products, the, the pleasantness of the overall formula in terms of texture, fragrance, they want to explore it more. And that's when you now can roll out some of the other ideas. So I am not going to talk about retail here, but just for some of you who already are Dr. Schrammack uh, clients or for those of you who are just new, 
look at the scope of what we can do. So let's say if your treatment plan involves treatment of aging skin, you will notice that with that, of course, we can tailor to the client in a very specific way. So for week one and week three, we will offer them the green peel energy. Okay, so this is to stimulate metabolism to change the skin effectively enough that when we actually now go ahead and support the home care with ampules like Perfect Future or Vitamin C Beauty Flash, the client will have fantastic effect. Alternative for more mature skin, you can also include the time control treatment alone, or you can do the time control treatment where instead of using enzyme peeling, which is what we use in place of exfoliation, we conduct a green peel fresh up within that treatment. So I know this is maybe a little bit um, difficult for those of you who are not well versed in Dr. Schwamek, but trust me, there is a way of kind of very effectively combining either treatment methods or home care for your client to really achieve fantastic results. That's one option. So for hyperpigmented skin, Obviously, the green peel will work from a more of a resurfacing perspective, but if you really want to hone in on some of the aspects of, you know, balancing pigmentation, do this. So your program will be one to four weeks. You will perhaps start with two Mela Wave treatments as a preparation to the treatment so that the, the overproduction of pigmentation or overproduction of melanin will actually be subsided somewhat, okay? So with that, of course, you do have a home care component that can support this type of action, and you always offer your client a really good product for solar protection, okay? Here we mentioned the Solar Plus Protect Fluid, for example, with SPF of 50. Now, on week five, Okay, so this is now pulse this, this beautiful treatment with MelaWave only, Mela, Mela only. What you um, will do is week five, we do a treatment with Herbal Peeling Classic or Energy, depending on skin type, right? So some clients will support Green Peel Classic and the pigmentation will be of such um, uh, trigger points that we can do that. But for melasma, cloasma, for example, you might wanna treat that client with a bit more of a conservative approach where we employ the Green Peel Energy, okay? And with that, of course, for home care, we give the client specific products. We continue with Mela White products typically, and um, that will be the kind of final, a, a full treatment plan. And then, of course, for impure skin. So there is that component. A lot of the times clients are looking for this. You know, they're, they're kind of at the end of the rope here. What can we do to really kind of give the client a fantastic effect? The suggestion from the company is, and this is tested and true, this has been done for many, many generations now, on week one, in preparation to Green Peel Classic in particular, what we wanna do is we're gonna perform a deep cleansing treatment for the client. So that means extraction-based treatment. The idea here is that if you remove some of the cornification within the follicles, the peel that you will do subsequently on week two um, or during week two will actually have a chance to penetrate the follicle and also normalize some of the epidermal tissue within the follicles themselves, okay? So very, very important to kind of address that. For those clients who really do have a lot of blackheads, I would suggest to do it this way, okay? So then you have an option here, either with the Green Peel Classic or even two Green Peel Energies if you prefer to, to address it that way, okay? We do have a, a, a regulatory type of um, uh, line of products, so regulating care, which will then also have some products that you can support this type of effect for your client, okay? Now, if you're wondering, so if you're new to green peel and you're sort of wondering, okay, so how is my cosper treatment going to look like? Um, how many treatments can I make? So there is a new format of the green peel herbs now. Um, it used to be a 50 gram jar, now it's a 45 gram jar. The reason why this happened is that sometimes people found that the, the herbs were overfilled and when we peel the top layer, um, they would basically just explode <laughs> and you actually would have some loss of, of green peel. So this was, this was really thought about by the company and um, the company has decided to lower the amount. So we have 45 grams which just to give you an idea, breaks down to about 43 
so, sorry, not 43. I'm, I'm kind of lying here. Okay, so it's about 15 Green Pill Classics. It will be about 22 of the energy treatments and about 40, I believe, five of the fresh up treatments that you can get out of this, um, this jar of herbs. Okay, so your perspective in terms of, um, kind of profits is really, really high. If you want some extra information, do reach out to us. I'll give you some information about how to contact us in a moment. Now, for those of you who have worked with Green Peel, I can see some familiar names. Um, you will notice that there was also a changeover. Okay, and um, the, the kind of green peel um, ampules that were available once upon a time um, under the umbrella of green peel treatment, the vital and the pure are no longer available and they are now substituted by the derma cosmetic ampules. We have four formulas in that and they are absolutely fantastic. So we actually now hone in or harness the power of more of the involved ingredients, more powerful ingredients, okay? So that's why um, the company actually gives you more options here too. So typically we use Perfect Future and Purity Stop, but in some cases, if you're doing a fresh up treatment, you can also incorporate Sensicom or Moisture Plus ampules. Nothing wrong with doing that. And again, for those of you that are new, or those of you that have been with me for a long time, respectively. So if you're new, you may not be aware of the fact that Dr. Schramek was the original inventor of what we recognize today as a BB cream. Um, nowadays, the BB cream um, or CC creams, whatever they are, they are thought more as a cosmetic. So the, the companies that produce them are not so much skin companies as a cosmetic, like makeup companies, right? But Dr. Schramek has really invented this idea of a, a tinted skincare product. So this is not just a moisturizer. This is really a truly corrective skincare product that is based on very powerful ingredients like zinc and panthenol. And it is available actually right now. I have three colors there, but really there's four colors right now. Very recently, we were joined in addition to light classic and honey colors. We were joined by a dark brown, which now is suited for the deep toned uh, skins of your clients. And for those of you maybe perhaps have clients or yourselves, do not really enjoy a tinted product. We also have blemish balm available in snow, which is technically transparent on the skin. And this is also one that we very typically give to a client that is doing a body part so that there's no transfer between color and the clothing. Most clients are not really that happy with it. So there is that, okay? You have options, definitely, but it becomes an integral part of your uh, aftercare. It really kind of mitigates the effects of the peel. In terms of inflammation, it calms and soothes the skin and it makes sure that really the effects of the peel, which can be very powerful, are also a little bit curved so that it's not too overtly aggressive. So very, very much an integral part. Now, also for a treatment of skin for specific needs, there are some other suggestions that I typically will have. For clients with acne, I like to sell them the clear skin silver fluid as a spot treatment. This just basically allows the, the peel to have a little bit of an extra effect in terms of antibacterial um, kind of help. So clear skin silver fluid is based on micro silver, which is kind of like an antibiotic that's natural. <laughs> if you can say that, um, that really sort of effectively eliminates the P. acne bacteria. And then finally, we also have a couple of sunblock products here that, that might be of interest. Um, a long time ago, we always made this Optimal Protection Cream essential part of the aftercare for green peel. Used to be an SPF of 20, but as of May, this product will be increased to SPF 30. Okay, down the line too, I'm just gonna give you a little preview of what's to come. Dr. Schramek will also make a product for an SPF for the body, okay? So that will be later, later this year, probably I'm guessing somewhere around summertime. And then of course, we also do have a, um, a combination of different ampules that are, so you saw them before, those four formulas of ampules in the new packaging, as you can see here on the bottom, they're available to support your client's effect. You can sell it to your clients for very minimal cost um, as a package of seven. So a full seven day treatment component for your, for your clients. 
All right. So that is pretty much it. I know I had a question from Sarah. Sarah, yes, I can definitely provide you with that. No problem. Um, if you, however, need to reach out to me directly in any type of questions or questions about training, you can reach uh, me at ncosentini at euro-essentials.com. You can follow Dr. Metromic Canada on Facebook. Uh, that is actually a fantastic place to get some ideas about what's new, what's what's changed, all the updates that we do are kind of also being placed there. We also, um, one more thing that I wanted to mention is we also do provide, if you are on our mailing list, um, then you're ahead of everybody. But if you're not on the mailing list, do make sure that, um, that we can kind of get your information. So send it to either to me or even better info at euroessentials.com. We can add you there because we do actually offer business updates for everybody who is involved with Dr. Shramek. Um, one is going to be actually coming up very, very shortly. And then of course, remember there are resources for you to look at for your clients to get some more information about, about Green Peel. So that's Instagram at Green Peel. We do have our own which is your essentials, but that is dedicated to Green Peel specifically. The website that I mentioned, and if you are around uh, the GTA area here in Toronto, you can definitely also visit our offices uh, that are located at 200 Trowers Road in Woodbridge, Ontario. I forgot to add Ontario there. <laughs> and of course, you can also reach us by our phone number. So 416-661-6700. If you don't have the time to screenshot this or get this information, you can also reach out via our website. Okay. So that is also a great place to get some information about how to get in contact with us. So this is it for me. Thank you very, very much for putting up with me for this past hour and a bit. Um, I hope that everybody enjoyed it and that you have learned some things, <laughs> if, um, if even that it was entertaining for you. So thank you so much. I wish you all the best success and I will see everybody in the future. Have a great day. Bye.